course, takes priority over normal attack if that even makes sense. So yes. Um, let me think here. Um, I don't want to try and look at the notes. Just to know improve my memory and stuff. That's so all. I think we've done everything that we need to do, except for of course doing the battle here at the um, here basically. No, oh, and we need to also capture the circles here. I forgot which battle gives you the great one here. I probably should have known why I think I know which one gives you it. So, um, let's go for now. And I want to check that weight. Do we have shock bomb lure still on someone? Shock bomb lure, please. We don't have shock bomb lure on anymore. I mean, my plate makes sense, right, to replace with Chocobello. Hmm, where is our Chocobello? I believe also it does get stronger if you have several Chocobellos equipped. Alright, and this is where we're having this is food. I'm just gonna go with normal speed because it's easier to get encounter. I'm just escaping if I don't get a quick encounter. Because the thing is like, like you need to be on the tracks, basically the encounter needs to take on the tracks. But then the higher your shock of allure, the higher your chance for it. Because I mean shock of allure is only 50% right. Like it's not a 100% form of shock of allure. I believe it's like 50% something chance to encounter shock of allure. Like I believe, you don't see any percentage, but I believe it's like 10. 20, 30, or 40 maybe, or maybe it's 50, I forgot exactly what the percentage is. But I believe two shock of allure's master is what you need, whatever I think, to get the maximum amount, I think. I don't remember if that is true, because number one thing that it should be is that even if you're not exactly on the tracks when you get the encounter, you should still always get the shock of all right, right, this are actually good to kill here. I want to kill these just because I want to get I want to get the what I call it uh, thing. <laughs> it's, it's really really interesting how uh, it's pretty pretty late now, but it's still like a lot of sunlight outside, you know. So, so, so yeah. Why are we having such a hard time getting an encounter now? I don't know. Is it the right encounter then? Yeah, that's the right one, I believe. I mean, so. That I think will kill it. Yeah. I'm just checking if that is the correct one. And I'm gonna make sure we save here. For uh, because of course I have the two uh, things. the two ones, we have the male and a female one. I mean it doesn't really really matter because we have both a male and a female one so it doesn't really really matter what the end of the great one would be because I would be able to mate with it no matter what like if I get like a male one I used to mate it with a female one the full and if I get a female one like that's kind of the good, good thing about having two one the full then you know and stuff like that. So moving the other one should be a great one, right? Yeah. Okay, a female name. Um, I'm gonna take that person's last name instead. Um, almost fits, just one little missing, I think. I think that's how it is. Okay, so I should feed that with. Uh, with the 10, uh, ten silk screens. I 
not even looking at my notes at the guy yeah, now. But I did the right and stuff that, you know, because yeah. Now I'm just gonna make sure to make a save first here. Yeah. And now I'm gonna try and basically like like I wanna show you that you can I should probably make a different color for that save then. Um so green color first and then a watery style color That should probably be good. Just okay. um, yeah, yeah, that should be good. I mean, I can use overwrite this save and then use uh, use this. Right, but then I will also. No, actually, I'm gonna save it here. So that this is the one we save into, but then we'll be continuing from the other file to show you how you're actually supposed to do it. So on this file, the way we're going to be getting it is we're going to just be resetting until we get it, basically. So I'm waiting. you can do it just like that, but I don't know if that resets on you. The thing is though that if you don't raise them up a single time, then like it can need an insane amount of reloads. But I've seen a video where someone managed to get the, the correct color like, on the first try without raising anything. And supposedly it, it has to do a lot with like how many battles you do. You do a certain amount of battles and then you make sure the chocobos are a certain way. I don't know if it matters like what you name the chocobo, if that's something that matters. Or if it's like who you talk to first, but I believe you, know, you should be talking to the wonderful one first, I think, actually, instead. So I'm going to be talking to this one first instead, and then this one. But I believe there is like a way to it, or something like that, that you do a certain amount of battles exactly, and then name them a certain thing, and talk to them in a certain order. Yeah, still not. Uh, that was a female one, though. The last one was a male one, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna try this a few times. Now the question is, does it matter what greens you feed them? That is the question. Like, does that manipulate all you? Because I believe it's actually that if they have a lot of intelligence, that that actually increases your chance to get it. That it's not only the racing, but it's their intelligence or something like that. I don't know, you also need to feed them off that they have, like when they have had sex, you can actually feed them again. Now, if it doesn't work within a few tries here, then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be, you know, I'm 
hoping for that anymore. Here is the thing though that, that sometimes I know that sometimes it has taken like like 20 plus tries sometimes to get it right, you know, and to get the color so you know like it could take a really really long time, you know. Sometimes so that's the thing, like I don't know, like maybe it's the fact that it's not supposed to work with wonderful. But that person that did it in the video did it with the wonderful, so I don't know if I'm just unlucky with the RNG or you know, like maybe it's just because he did RNG manipulation. Maybe that's what made it work, you know. And maybe it has to do with the speed, that I have the increased speed on that maybe it maybe there's a timer that ticks it and depending on how quick you do it, you always get a colored one. just be that I just need to, like I mean I would definitely give them 10 more but I believe that the thing is that the strongest green basically make it so that they max out stats pretty easily, I believe. But it might have to do with that, that I captured too many and stuff that like maybe that had to do with something as well that oh you need to capture a certain amount of them and that affects the RNG as well maybe, I don't know. Because supposedly you're supposed to like save as close to the farm as possible and then go inside it without getting an encounter. And then supposedly it always works 100% of the time that you always get a colored one almost always. Okay, but that doesn't seem to be true. It might be though that that the way you place them because he always made it so that so that this one, like this one here, the great one would be down here. And the top one would be the one that you would always need to talk to. But is there a way to move them around, the chocobos? Maybe I screwed up already by putting them in the wrong location. Like maybe it will never work because of that. Oh, but maybe after I save I need to like reset before I start doing the thing. But let's try and be as close as possible without entering so... No, 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 that should be it. Does this count as a full reset or a soft reset? I know that there is a shortcut input to actually reset, but it only but it only works on a certain thing or whatever. I forgot how it exactly it was, but yeah. Because here is the thing, right, if we're not affecting the RNG, like if the RNG remains the same although we're resetting, then we will never get a colored one. But we are definitely getting different ones, like it's not always a female one, right? I mean, sometimes you can get a female one six times in a row, and then a male one, and then you know, like, yeah. Maybe I just need to increase the stat a bit and maybe that makes it easier. No, it's still a female one. But wait, otherwise is it like... 
It's just like holding these, holding that, and then no. Maybe you hold the options button. I'm trying to remember because I'm pretty pretty certain there is a reset that you do some somehow. Because that's maybe why we're getting the same RNG all the time. Because we're actually. Because it's actually. The, the trick is actually working. But since we manipulated RNG in another way, we will always be getting a female uncolored one. Maybe because I have them in the wrong location. So maybe we will need to do another battle or something like that to maybe. Because it keeps being a female one all the time. 